Email Autoresponder Secret, What Do Your Emails Say About You? by Telman Knudsen and read by Brian Edmondson. Do you use an email autoresponder to send emails that contain offers or advertising to your subscribers? Or do you use your email autoresponder to communicate with a list of followers who need to stay updated on events or classes? Either way, if you're not sure what your emails are saying about you, you need to find out because it's making the difference in whether people open, read, or trash the emails you send them through your email autoresponder. And if people are trashing and not opening your emails, it's costing you time and money. There are many different ways to come across in your emails. An email autoresponder is simply a tool. An email is really an empty slate for you to write on, and that's where the danger lies. There's far too many opportunities to mess up when writing emails to go through an email autoresponder. The emails I send through my email autoresponder make me three to five million dollars a year, and they, make, they may look simple, but there's a huge amount of art, science, and testing behind them. We don't send out an email that doesn't get regularly recorded for clicks, opens, inside email responder, and compared to be sure it performs well. Now all this talk about rigor and science is a little misleading, and here's why. Some of my top performing emails of all time are actually the most unprofessional and casual, fun sounding emails you've probably ever seen come out of an email responder. Here's an example of an email that did really well for me. Subject, oh, first name, check it, link, Tellman. Now what does that email say about me if we assume you don't know anything about me to start with? First of all, the subject line gives no indication I am trying to sell you something. Neither does the body. What I want to convey with this message from my email autoresponder is that I am a friend or at least someone familiar and I have something interesting for you to look at. I achieved that three ways with the structure of the email. One, the subject line is totally unprofessional looking and is not capitalized. Two, the email starts off with first name which allows me to use the function in my email autoresponder to make sure it will address the reader by the first name. Three, the email is short and gets right to the point and doesn't try to explain anything. In other words, my email says I'm a friend. Now here's the problem with most of the emails that get sent through email all responders for business, promotional, or professional purposes. They look like business emails. And who, given the choice, really wants to open a business email th sent through an email all responder? Given the choice between that and a friend's quick email, which would you open first? A friend's email, right? The truth is no one really wants to read a professional email about business matters because it's boring and sounds like work. What do your messages in your email responder say about you? Do they say I'm a friend and I have something cool to tell you? Or do they say I'm a business and I have an important message? What sounds more fun? In email responders and in real life, people are more likely to listen and respond to someone that sounds fun and friendly than someone who's got work for you to do. I made a bet when I started writing emails five years ago that the above would hold true, and it has. Remember when I said I'd make three to five million a year sending out through my email responder? The emails that make me the most weren't business emails, they were fun emails. But how exactly do I write fun emails that also sell? Visit the link below and find out. Important, don't waste time and money learning this from anyone but the best. Learn how you too can use your email responder to bring in thousands of dollars in autopilot today at www.listbuilding.com forward slash more leads.